So a couple of days ago, I posted a video comparing the performance of Bolt.diy, that is the open source version of Bolt and Bolt.new and the results were shocking and in that video, I used OpenAI and Google AI models in Bolt.diy. And for starters, Bolt.diy is the open source version of Bolt where you can bring your own API key and use any LLM of choice. And more specifically in that video, I used GPT 4.0 and Google Gemini Flash 2.0 models. And it turns out that Bolt.new uses the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet under the hood. And to make it a fair comparison, obviously we'll have to use uh, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet again in Bolt.diy as well. So if you want to watch that video, I will leave link to that in the i button above. So basically we used open AI Google Gemini models in that video and the results were not that great. But today in this video, I'm going to compare Bolt.new and Bolt.diy again. But this time around, I'm going to use the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet new model so that it can be a fair comparison. And I also expect the results to be great. Now without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is Bolt.diy. And if you don't know how to set up Bolt.diy on your computer, click the i button above or the link in the description below. And I've already created a video explaining the same. And here I have opened Bolt.diy. And by the way, okay, as you can see the terminal in interface is running right here and we have it running in localhost port 5173 and again this browser is chrome canary so if you want to use bolt.diy and want it to work as expected they the development team recommend you use chrome canary and i have opened up bolt.new as well so obviously the same bolt.new and again this time around i'm going to select anthropic as the model and select cloud 3.5 sonnet new so we have two options that is cloud 3.5 sonnet new and uh, old one but the new version is much better so i'll go ahead and select cloud 3.5 sonnet new and next up i need to grab my anthropic api key so i went ahead and copied my anthropic api key and i can click on this pencil icon paste the api key in here and click on the tick button and the setup is done so we can go ahead and give the exact same prompt to both of these platforms and compare the response. And now to compare the performance of Bolt.diy and Bolt.new, we'll be giving the exact same prompt to both of these platforms and we'll analyze the result and come to a fair conclusion as to which one works the best. And again, the Bolt.new has a free plan where it offers 1 million tokens and there's also a daily limit, I guess. So yeah, yeah, but if you want to, you can go ahead and sign up for a free account and start using it as well. So first we'll try to design a landing page for our web development agency. And let me just go ahead and say, create a landing page for my web development agency named, let's say Astro Tech. All right, so create a landing page for my web development agency named Astro Tech. So this is the only prompt that I'll give, or maybe I could also go ahead and say, give the website a modern look and use a tailwind for styling. So this is the prompt that I'll give to bolt.diy and I can hit on the send button and hopefully the AI should start writing the code. And as you can see, it has started writing the code and I'll go ahead and give the exact same prompt in bolt.new as well. So now let's just wait. All right. So now this is the output that I got when I used bolt.new or basically this is the landing page that bolt.new has coded for us. And this is exactly like almost same as the one that we, you know, got in the last video as well. So we have a couple of cards in here, a hero section, some hover effects, and then we have nice, you know, gradient effects when we hover over these images, some dummy images, a contact us button, but that doesn't work. So yeah, basically this is the, uh, let's say the landing page that the bolt.new has created for us. And now if we head back to bolt.diy, it seems like we have a error in here. And if I refresh, uh, it does not work. So it says uncaught reference error react is not defined. Okay, so maybe I'll go ahead and click on the ask bolt option and it will go ahead and fix it itself. So let's wait till it is done. Okay, it fixed it. So it added uh, or okay, it added the missing react import and create the weak config file and seems like it's done. So let me just go to the preview section, reload the page and we get the exact same uh, error again. I'm not sure why this is happening. So let me just go ahead and manually give it. I get an error saying and paste the error and let me see if it fixes this time okay so seems like it has written all the code and if i move over to the preview tab now we can see something and if i put this into full screen so this is what uh bald.diy has generated for us and now this is something all right so i don't know if you have watched the previous video but in that video when we used uh, gpt 4.0 and gemini 2.0 flash 
the results that it gave us was absolutely terrible and the website did not even have any kind of design for that matter now this is reasonably good and if i want to i can go ahead and target any of these elements and let's say add new effects or anything as such and i'm pretty sure bolt will do i mean bolt.diy will be able to do so but again i'll just go ahead and ask it to do the same so let me say can you please add a hover animation to the cards in the hover services section maybe i can also go ahead and say add some dummy images and make the website a bit more interesting and hit enter and now that bolt.diy with cloud 3.5 sonnet has come this far i'm pretty sure everything should work and even if we give more advanced prompt the ai should be able to do it so now we basically asked it to add a basic animation like a hover effect animation and also add a couple of dummy images okay now this dummy images is not going to work is what i feel like because it's adding okay maybe it will in which case let's wait and see so let's wait all right so it says it has added all that hover effects for smooth transition images and all that so if i click on this preview option right now it says no preview found um okay i'm not sure why that is happening okay the project is not running so let me just go ahead and say npm run dev hit enter let's load the project and let's see all right okay so there we have it let me open it up in full screen so this is how the updated version looks like and we have a nice hero section in here and if we scroll down again the images is not working as expected because bolt created all these dummy images and tried to include a link and that's not how it works that's okay but we now have this nice lifting kind of an effect along with this progress bar to the top when we hover over each of these cards which is actually a really good thing and again we also have a contact form in here and it looks good too so to be honest uh when compared with the performance of the last video, this thing is miles better. And again, you'll have to use Cloud 3.5 Sonnet for the maximum performance. And in the next video, I'll also compare the performance using DeepSeek model as well. So for the, as far as the uh, landing page is concerned, bold.new and bold.diy has done a great job. And again, yeah, that's it for the landing page part. So next up, I'll go ahead and upload a screenshot of a dashboard and ask it to code the same and it'll give the exact same prompt and screenshot to bold.diy and bold.new and let's just compare the performance. So I'll go ahead and say same as the one in the screenshot. Okay, so this is the prompt. I'll copy it and again, I need to select it. So I'll go ahead and click on this attachment icon. So this right here is the screenshot and let me quickly open it up. So this is the screenshot of the dashboard that we want to code and I'll give the same. So I'll go ahead and click on open and let me click on the send button. All right. So let me just wait for bolt.diy to start writing the code. Okay. So yeah, implement the exact design. I'll paste the exact same prompt in here and attach the same image as well. Same image, click on open and hit send. Okay, so bold.new has started writing the code as well. So now let's just wait for both of these platforms to write the code and seems like bold.div is already done. So yeah, let's just wait. All right, so bold.new is done writing the code and this is what it has generated. So let me put it up in full screen. And this is the dashboard that bold.diy, I mean bold.new has generated for us. So we have all that colors, all that tags, the names, I mean, we don't really have the charts or anything. By the way, let me quickly open the screenshot for reference. So this is what we asked Bolt to code and this is what it has given us. So yeah, except for that chart spot, the colors, the columns and all that looks really good. It's reasonably good is what I would say. I mean, if you want to, you can go ahead and give follow up prompts and get it the way you want it to. So yeah, Bolt.new has done a great job. We even have this placeholder text and image and all that and i'm pretty impressed to be honest we have the search box cta button and all that and now heading back to bold.diy we have some kind of error in here i'm not sure why this throws this error but it says could not auto determine entry point so i'll go ahead and copy the same and i'll go ahead and say it shows okay so hit enter and let's wait for bolt to fix the error all right, so it says this should resolve the entry point issue and start the development server properly. And we have the server running in here. So let me quickly go ahead and move to the preview tab. And hopefully we'll see something. All right. 
okay we got that same error again it says uncaught error react is not defined pasting the same i got this error so let's just wait for it to fix again and hopefully this time around it should work is what i guess so let's wait it did not work again so i went ahead and clicked on the ask bolt option and hopefully it will work now so let's wait um i'm not sure why it, this isn't working in the first place so let me quickly go ahead and let's say it says react is not defined and only shows me a black page hit enter and let's wait so it says let's fix by properly setting up the react project from scratch all right so that's okay so let me just wait and to be honest i'm not sure if bolt is actually updating the code because it says click to open the workbench and um, seems like bolt is not making any kind of changes to the actual code in here all right all right so for some weird reasons bolt.diy kept throwing errors after errors even after trying to fix it for like multiple times it kept showing me the same error so i'll go ahead and give the exact same prompt and screenshot again and hopefully it will work this time so i've opened up a new thread and let's see how it goes all right so mm, not really a great fan of it but it isn't working maybe i could go okay let me give the exact same prompt again and this time around i'll just ask it to code it in plain html css and javascript maybe or just html and css so let me copy the prompt attach the same image and i'll go ahead and say build the site in html css and javascript and use tailwind for styling and let's just wait all right so finally after going back and forth uh, between the errors and finally asking it to code the same in html css and javascript here we have something so if i put it in full screen this is what it looks like and i know if you compare the performance of the output of bolt.diy and bolt.new obviously the one that is generated using bolt.new looks far way better but again this is just plain simple html css and javascript and for some weird reasons i am unable to get this working in react so yeah this is for the output as far as converting a screenshot into code is con uh, concerned now that we have the dashboard done and ready next up i'll go ahead and ask it to create a simple kanban board style project management tool like let's say trello so i'll open bolt.diy and i'll go ahead and say create a simple kanban boards app like trello where users can add task and drag and drop the task between multiple boards okay so okay trello kanban board and all that so this is the prompt that i'll give and i'll go ahead and click on the send option and i'll go ahead and give the exact same prompt to bolt.new as well so let's just click on send and let's wait for it to complete coding the same all right so in a single prompt this is what bolt.new has created for us so we asked it to create a simple trello like kanban board style project management app and here we have a bunch of tasks in here and if i drag and drop it between boards the drag and drop functionality is actually working and if i want to i can click on the plus button add a new task and maybe i can also then rearrange the same in here okay now that part is working and again we don't have the options to add a new board so that is something that we can add in a single prompt now let's just head back to bolt and seems like the same error i'm not sure why but i keep getting this exact same error every time i try to create an app using react and even if i ask bolt to fix the same for me it keeps throwing the same error and it simply does not work so again let's just wait and hopefully this will work this time all right so now things are working and we have three bots in here option to add new task but the drag and drop functionality is not working so i could not really drag and drop any items between these boards and again okay i can't even edit the content of any each any task as well so i'll go ahead and say the drag and drop functionality is not working hit enter and first let's just fix the drag and drop functionality and after that we'll go ahead and fix the other uh, parts of the app so let's just wait and again we also have some problem with the styling and it is using something else for styling i guess styled 
components we'll want to use a uh, tailwind but that's okay we can go ahead and give subsequent prompt to fix that all right so let's just see if it works so i can drag and drop and yes things work now so the styling is a bit off but that's okay we'll fix it in a minute but now we can drag and drop all these uh, boards i mean tasks in between and every time i'm about to drop this into one of these boards you can also see that it is highlighted in a light green color that's cool so i have the option to add text i mean add task and not the option to edit it but that's okay so the styling looks a bit off but other than that the functionality of the app is actually working and i'm pretty sure you can go ahead and give subsequent prompts and style it in a better way so yeah bald.diy coupled with cloud 3.5 sonnet is the way to go so if you have if you have any plans to use bald.diy i suggest you go ahead and try using it in cloud 3.5 sonnet new or old model and if you use any other models the results might not be that great and again i also plan to go ahead and use the deep seek model and i'll post a video about it shortly but this is how bald.diy with cloud 3.5 sonnet compares with bald.new and again bald.new is a tad better i mean there are a lot of optimizations and stuff going on in with bald.new and they also have a couple of additional features as well but that's not available within bald.diy but again bald.diy is like a free product and you can bring your own api key and start using it so apart from the api key you are pretty much not paying for anything else so that's pretty much okay is what i guess so that wraps up the video on bald.diy with cloud 3.5 sonnet versus bald.new and this is how it looks and i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one